Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayol ahbab The aqeedah or creed of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah Is based on Kitabillah wa sunnatu Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam based on the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu Majma'een and as should be no mystery to any of us the pillars of Iman which forms the basis and foundation of our belief as believers was articulated by Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran and by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his authentic Sunnah. As was mentioned in the Hadith of Jibreel Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, where Jibreel asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about Iman, about faith. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded by saying, Al-Iman in tu'minu and tu'mina billahi wal malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawm al-akhir wa tu'minu bi qadri khayrihi wa shir. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam mentioned the six pillars of Iman when he was asked about what is Iman, what is faith? And so that lets us know what faith is to Ahl Sunnah because we take our creed from the Prophet We do not take new methodologies, new creeds, new forms of ideology and belief and incorporate that into Islam, nor consider that a part of Islam. But rather we return back to the Qur'an and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'een. So in that hadith, the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Iman is to believe in Allah and His angels and His books and his messengers and the day of judgment and it is to believe in the divine de- destiny the good of it and the evil of it meaning the divine decree of Allah Azza wa Jal when the Prophet والسلام, said in Tu'mina Billahi he said and to believe in Allah that means we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is the Lord of all things, the creator of all th- things, the sustainer of all things, the provider of all things. He decreed all things. And those other aspects of His rububiyah, His Lordship. That also entails that we believe in the uluhiyatillah the Tawheed al-Uluhiya or Tawheed al-Ibadah referring to that all of our worship all the things that we do <coughs> that have to do with worship are directed only to Allah Azza wa Jal that all of our Ibadah all of our worship is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the other sp- aspect of believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the other aspect of his tawheed is his divine names and attributes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ar-Rahman he's ar-Rahim he's the most merciful the most beneficent wa huwa azizul intiqam he is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is severe in his 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 punishment 
for those who break his commands. And all the other aspects of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his tawheed, meaning all of his divine names and attributes, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we get them as they, and we believe in them as they are affirmed in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So as Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, mentioned in the Quran, and the Quran is the speech of Allah, we believe in it in its entirety. This is where we differ with the Shia and some of the other creeds, some of the other uh, faiths who believe the Quran is not exact, is not the word of Allah or that the Qur'an is something else, that the Qur'an is Jibreel's articulation of the word of Allah, or whatever they believe. There's various, all kind of different creeds that have deviated from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself, that uh, that uh, he referred to his speech, the Qur'an is the kalam, kalam Allah, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam likewise mentioned that the Quran is a speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke. And that's where we differ with others who have deviated from what the Quran and the Sunnah have made clear for us. The second aspect of that, Ayyul Ahbab, is that we believe in the angels and we believe in that they are beings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created that they do no sin that they do various tasks and we believe in them all those we've heard of and those we have not heard of that were mentioned in general in the Quran and we believe in the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they were the speech of Allah they're, they're the kalam Allah his books, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he revealed to his prophets that received revelation. With the last being the Quran. And mention, and also the Injil before that. The Injil, which was the book of Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Torah, which is the book of Moses, Moses or Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Psalms of Dawood or David, and other than them, the Suhuf of Ibrahim, and the other books which were mentioned. And we believe in everything that is mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. And then he, alayhi salatu wasalam, with regards to Iman, he mentioned. After mentioning the books that we believe in, or a part of Iman is that we believe in all the messengers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to mankind to make clear for them the message of Tawheed. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al karim وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُوا تَعْقُودٍ And we've sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things which are worshipped besides him. And all of the messengers, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, we believe in all of them and love all of them. Those which are mentioned by name and those in general which are not mentioned specifically but we believe in them we believe that they exist and we believe that they were the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhim salatu wasalam and we stop there we don't speak about other individuals as some people speculate Buddha might have been a prophet or so and so might have been a prophet or we think no it's that knowledge even if we had evidence for that would be a very little effect upon our creed and on our practice on how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is no sense in researching something where you will not find evidence from the kitab or the sunnah, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nor the salaf of this ummah. So it's best to stop where they stopped.
and no need to speculate and infer and go beyond the text. Because this is how many of the people before us went astray is when they didn't accept the text. The other nations that came before us, that came before the Muslims from Ahl kitab they went astray because they didn't accept the text. The text. That when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to them and made clear for them. So when they got knowledge, that's when they went astray. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ May Allah protect us from that. Because that is extreme ignorance and extreme arrogance which causes a person to deny the truth when they know it to be the truth. When they know it, to, when it's made clear to them, and then they deny it, then they do not accept it. And then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the same hadith, and tu'minu, and tu'mina bi bil al akhir and to believe in the day of judgment. So we believe in all the things that are mentioned in the Qur'an of the signs that you'll find all throughout uh, Jews Amma. You'll find all in those surahs which describe what's going to happen to the sun and what will happen to the moon and the earth. When the earth, it, it shakes up, you know, from earthquakes and, and then the earth will spit out what uh, the secrets that it had hidden. And, and that will be resurrected from our graves and all of those aspects and all of those things which are detailed in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we believe in that and tu'minu biliyom al-akhir and the final thing which is a sixth pillar and tu'mina biqadri khayrihi wa shar that we believe in the divine destiny and the decree of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that everything happens for a reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has knowledge over everything. He created everything. He wrote down everything. And everything is in accordance with His will. Those are the maratib al-qadr. Those are the, the levels of the qadr. And there are four. We believe in that. That everything happens for a reason. Sometimes we expect something. We want something. But we only receive it when Allah and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to receive it. We may think something is good for us, but it may be bad for us. All of this is within the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the mu'min accepts this. And the mu'min believes in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. And what comes from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and has been authenticated. And follows the methodology or madhab of the salaf of this ummah meaning the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and those who follow them in righteousness until the day of judgment and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm nafi ruskin tayyib wa amlan muttaqabbilan wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam